welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk to you about a multiple of foundations that I've tried recently. Not all of them on camera and all that stuff, but I wanted to talk to you and give you updates on the ones that I have tried on camera and um, updates on the ones that I haven't just to give you my opinion. So first let's talk about the pure four in one love your selfie. I don't know how I feel about this and I said that in my review video because like on one hand I like it and on the other hand I kind of don't so it's a like a eh, for me foundation like I know raw beauty Christy like swears by it and she loves it but I just I can't get on board and I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong so I've said it I haven't said it and all those things, I've used different primers with it and still it kind of really settles in my smile lines and it breaks apart on my chin and all that stuff. So like it's not a bad foundation by any means, but it's not a favorite foundation of mine. So um, I'll keep using it because obviously I bought it and don't want it to go to waste. But this is a, just an okay foundation for me. So the other one I want to talk about is my little sample of the Hourglass Liquid Vanish Foundation, I think is what it's called, like the actual title of it. Um, I love it. It lasts all day. It doesn't cake up on me. It doesn't sink into my lines too bad, which most foundations do and that's not a problem. The thing with the pure one is it's like within minutes it's sinking in. So like I can't even finish my makeup before it's sunken in kind of problem but I love this one it's great I highly recommend it um I have normal skin so like I can't really say if it would be bad for oily or dry skin because honestly like it just it worked for me and I like it and that's really all I can say about it the one that I hate the most and I literally mean I hate it and that's really hard for me to say because I don't hate like anything to be honest, like I, that, that's not really um, who I am. I don't really hate things, but this I am so glad that I didn't actually buy the full um, foundation, and I only got a sample of because, oh my god, had I bought it, it would have been the worst mistake ever. But it is, and I'm so sad to say this because I love the brand. So this is the Tarte Found Sealer. The obviously you can't 100% know that's what's in here, but it is, and it is terrible so bad hate it literally it breaks up with up on my chin it fades away i've said it i haven't said it i've applied it with my hands i've applied it with a brush I've applied it with a sponge nothing works for this thing like it literally hates my skin in the fact that like it won't settle it like i've said it with setting sprays i've said it with powders i've done both you know but it literally doesn't melt into my skin like all my other foundations do like it literally just sits on top and it's gross feeling and I hate it it's just so not worth it okay I was given the hello happy flawless brightening foundation by a friend and I like this foundation however the shade is a little bit too light for me Maybe in the winter time it'll be better. But it is nice. It has a nice finish. It lasts. It doesn't sink into my smile lines too badly. It has medium coverage and it like it looked kind of like my skin is today. So like not super like super full coverage, but it has medium coverage. It's buildable. It has SPF in it, which is nice. Um so it's a good foundation. It's not terrible. They're Shade range from what I've seen in Ulta could use a lot of work just because I literally think there's only two to three like dark or deep skin tones and that's not really cool but it is a good foundation that I, they, I think they just need to expand on. But it, that could just be my Ulta. My Ulta could only carry a select selection but I could be wrong so just know that that's where I'm at on that. For the pure 4-in-1 pressed mineral makeup, which is a foundation in and of itself, I really like this. This coloring is slightly off for me, um, but I can't go darker and I can't go lighter. It's just I think the undertone in which this is, is off. So not a horrible, but 
I fix it with obviously bronzer and you know blush and all that stuff and once I add everything it kind of looks good but it is slightly off for me but it's a good everyday quick I don't want to be putting 15 million layers on I just want to slap some foundation on and go so like I don't use a primer with this I literally do my moisturizer my sunscreen sorry my sunscreen and then I go let that drain dry and sink in and then I go in with this um, because this makes me look flawless without having to put any type of primer on it so that's great um, my friend also gave me the hello happy velvet powder foundation so I have two of them I have one and two and while the foundation I have in number two is kind of too light for me the powder foundation actually works better for my skin tone which is really cool and so one is way too light but I did find a use for it, which probably seems weird, but is really cool. So like I will go in with a concealer that is like basically my skin tone before I put this on, but then to actually give me that highlighted effect, I'll go in with the number one and it works so good and it's amazing. And both of them, um, I don't think that there's SPF in here, but I could be wrong. I think there is, but I could be wrong, so don't call me on that. But there, it's amazing. So, like, I'll use the number two all over my face, and then I'll basically use the number one as a concealer and a highlight. Concealer and highlight. And it's, it works. It's so good. So, that's the update on all of the foundations that I've tried recently. So, not all of them are bad. I'm sorely disappointed with the pure one the foreign one love yourself you one just because I such had I had such high hopes for it so like I'm really sad about that one and we eh, not super disappointed because I didn't have such high hopes for the tart one but because I love so much of their products like I was kind of disappointed with the fact that it just didn't work I hope <laughs> you guys enjoy this video I hope you um can take what I said and just kind of apply it towards what your needs are. Uh, I always want to be super helpful. So if I am, yay! <laughs> but if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one.